you're going to start by okay by the way this is the start scene this is what we're starting with this scene so you go to your character tab character menu you click on this dot to bring this up so you click on your joint tool so we click on the joint tool the joint tool comes up so i'm going to go to my front view f4 takes me to the front view so i'm going to use my normal move tool to bring this joint up so i'm going to bring this up this is meant to be my color bar so if i double click this i can call this color bone permit my spelling so this is the color bone <laughs> then i'm going to create another one this becomes my shoulder bone so i'm bringing the shoulder bone here so this is the shoulder bone now like i said if you don't have a connection between them you won't have your bone so i only have the joint so what i'm going to do is make this joint a child of the collarbone before i can have this bone so i have that so i'm going to create another one this comes up to become my elbow i'll create another joint so this go to the wrist i'll create one more joint to come here all right so let's start joining them together so this next one is the elbow so it becomes a child of that we have that bone this other one is the wrist so make it a child of this for the connection to be there then we'll bring the last one here so in the previous tutorial i only did a one limb one limb character so in this tutorial now i'm going to show the four limbs and the thumb so then we will start waiting this so i want you to please um just bear with me in this so i'm going to go to the top view to start changing this remember you use your joint tool to move the joints so moving this joint here i'll bring this to this elbow joint for me to have that then this wrist will be somewhere here then i'm going to have this now what i'm going to do is i'm going to have um, a joint after this wrist that will connect to this other joint here so this is going to be my hand bone then holding down this hand bone i'm going to hold down control now make sure you have this joint to select them you hold down control and click on this section then it should create a joint here so i'm going to remove this now then holding down clicking on the last joint hold down control and click here and one more to end that so we'll go back to the hand bone remember why i named this hand bones because i'm going to be creating bones from here to the different limbs or to the different fingers so I'll come back to this hand bone hold down control click to bring this then bring it back remove this so for my joint so now i'll be getting rid of this now then hold down control select this next one hold down control click here and click here so go back to the hand hold down control come to this section this and click so for the last hand go back to the hand bone hold down control click for this click here and click the end bone then remaining the thumb so i'm not going to bring the thumb from this i'm going to bring the thumb from the wrist so what i'm going to do is i'll go back to the wrist so now you need to start clicking on this joint for you to have that so this is wrist so let me quickly rename this so this becomes the wrist so if you hold down if you select the wrist and use your joint to hold down control and click somewhere here so you are going to have this joint coming to this place so click one more at this point then you have your last bone here so this is how you have this bone and some people will want will create their joints coming from here but i like creating my joint from the wrist to join through the whole thing so this is my joint this this then i'll call this the 
thumb start thumb start then this becomes the thumb one and this is the thumb end so you will need to start renaming your bones so that you can keep track of what you are selecting all right so once you have this the next thing i'm going to do is let's just rename all this so we have our hand bone then we have this which is the index all right so we have our smallest finger here so so you click on this this becomes your um finger one two three four so let's just start renaming like this is one two three four so it becomes finger four starts click on this finger four um middle is actually called pinky then you have your finger or end or should we just use their name okay so let's say pinky starts so sorry about that pinky starts so we have the pinky middle then we have the pinky end so that's that so the next one is for the ring which is this so this is the next one so this becomes your ring starts ring middle and your ring end then after the ring end you have your middle so you come to this and select this as your middle so this is your middle starts middle 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 <laughs> permit that word and you have your middle end then the finger closest to the thumb is the index so this is index starts you have the index middle and you have the index end all right so coming to this we've already renamed all these things you can already see their hierarchy so you have this you have that and that so this is your you have your pinky you have your ring you have your middle and you have your index so you can notice that this is being highlighted anytime you click it and the reason why you're having that is because in the joint tool if you look at the display you have highlights on so anytime you select a joint can you notice as i'm bringing my mouse close to a joint you're having a highlight I can start to say I don't want to have highlight. So even if I come close and I click, it's until I click before I have the highlights. But once I'm bringing it close to any joint, no highlights. But it's good you have these highlights on. You can also decide to have a bounding box. So you have this bounding box over a joint as you're moving close. That's just what this what they do. So now that you have created this hierarchy, the next thing is for you to start um joining this to the geometry but before then i'll go to my perspective view and be sure that all these things are aligned you can see that i had this i have this issue so i need to try and bring this bone into the geometry so i can just select this and bring it down until it fits into the geometry so you will need to bear with me so i'm going to fast forward this while i do that you can just follow along in this as i bring this into the geometry
All right. All right. So I have these bones in the flesh. Have these bones in the flesh. So the next thing I'm going to do is to try and create. Um, is try is to try and weight this bone into this geometry such that by the time I start moving things, this will move. So right now, if I select the collar bone and go to my rotate tool and try and rotate is not affecting this geometry so how can i do that to affect oh before we do that the next thing we're going to do is i have to go to the move tool and i select this next bone you need to always make sure that these things are aligned the bones are aligned so if you check you notice this make sure the bones are aligned for this to work so you might need to come here and select the thumb make sure the thumb is aligned look at this thumb right now the thumb is not aligned if you check through we need to make sure this is this is aligned along this so what we can do is to use the align tool so if you come here you can select the thumb and click on align so it tries to align you can already see that that um, coordinate system shifts so you come over to the next one click on the align and until everything is aligned so you also need to do that for the next bone which is the hand bone so you might need to click on align for that to be aligned so select this next bone and go to the pinky for the pinky align the pinky so you click on align too so i think every other thing is aligned if you look through they are all aligned to the bone so what i'm just doing is to cross check for me to be sure everything is all in place so that is really needed it's actually necessary for a, a good animation so once all these are not aligned it's going to have issues with your animation that's why i need to make sure all these are aligned to the bone and for animation purpose so now everything is aligned so the next thing for me to do is to try and create a weight tag for me to weight this but before then let me just quickly create um an eye kitchen between the wrist and the shoulder so if you remember this is the wrist and this is the elbow so i'm going to rename this elbow and this is going to be the shoulder so you select the shoulder you go to tag you go to reading tag and i said by the way for the previous version you are going to have character options here so you see character tag but in this new version 21 you have rigging tag so you go to rigging tag you are going to see IK. So for the IK, I need my end goal to be this. So I can just bring the reach to the end. Then that becomes the end. So the next thing is for me to have a goal. So I just will just click on this add goal. So once I click on add goal, it creates a goal for me that will help me move. So you can see that I can move this. I have my hand, everything is in place, but this is not moving my geometry. So also I need to create a pole. So select this, go to add pole. So I can bring the pole out. So you can see, so you need to make sure everything is well placed and make sure that your bone is not sticking out of your geometry. That is very important. So okay, you can see that as you're moving, this is affecting that pole. So, so you might really need to leave that there. So maybe move this backward until you have all this. So once you are done with that, the next thing for you to do is to bind this skeleton to this geometry. Because right now, if I do this, not affecting the geometry. So for me to bind this, I have to bring these bones as children into this geometry mesh so i'll select the geometry come over to this um, weight manager click on skin so if i bring this skin i'll bring it as a child i will bring it as a child of this mesh the next thing is if you look here you don't really have anything so the next thing is for me to add the weight tag to this mesh so select this mesh you go to tag then you go to rigging so if you go to rigging you are going to see weight tag click on weight that would get added to this but still if i try to move 
still not affecting and the reason this is not affecting is because looking at your weight tag your bones have to be inside this weight tag so i will select this weight tag lock it for a moment so that it can allow me to select these whole bones so now for me to make sure i have everything selected i will hold down control and middle mouse to click here so it selects everything can you see so if i scroll up you notice everything is selected then i'll hold down shift or control to remove this from my selection and drag this into this weight tag so all the bones are now in the weight tag but still you are not going to have this moving the object because if i go to if i go to this goal and i move it will still not and the reason why this is not moving is because we have added the bone fine we need to weight each of these bones to this geometry so right now if i go to my weight manager and i come here click on the joint if i select this geometry this weight tag i have all this weight tag notice everything is black the reason why everything is black is because if you select this weight it's meant to show you this color coding for everything so the reason why everything is black is because there is no weight on this object so we need to start creating weight on this object so the way you start weighting your object is by doing this one by one so we start with the highest in the hierarchy select the mesh and go to your polygon mode so i'm going to highlight where i want this weight to affect so i'll use ul to select this section where i want it to affect then i'll select the color bone that i want to affect it go to the command make sure i have absolute turned on then auto normalize is on click on apply selected you're going to see the weight on this object so the next thing is for me to add the shoulder weight so I'm going to go back to the joints select the shoulder then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select every other thing apart from where I have this so when you are adding weights you want to come to where the joint is any place the joint will be rotating that is where you want to start your weight from so you use your UL to select this loop so this is the selected and UF for field selection hold down shift and add this so add this up onto this place make sure you have your shoulder selected come to command absolute apply selected so you have that so the next thing you want to do is go back to the joint go to your elbow remember so you know what to do so you have to use your ul selection select the section where you're going to have your bending in the bone then uf so select every other part hold down shift click make sure your elbow is selected command apply so you have that so that's how you are going to go through everything for you to wait so i'm going to fast forward this while i do that All right, so welcome back. I've been able to do that. So if you go back to this weight manager and you select the weights, you notice the color coding of all these things. So I've been able to weight each of these tags on this geometry. So let's see what we have. Then when, if all these things are not good, we can always go back to smoothing off this. So I'm going to close this for a moment and go back to my um, wrist and my wrist go and move can you see it's affecting this geometry now but now we have some issue things are crumbling on one on themselves so what we can do is to place this object in a very awkward position and start changing this out so we'll go back to our width manager then we want to check this elbow something is not right with the elbow so we'll go to the elbow you notice that this elbow is affecting something so let's see this if we move this out so moving this the elbow is 
having effect is having a very very sharp effect on this so for us to solve that what we can do is we go to our weight tool so that is how we can smoothen off all these things so if we go to the weight tool here then we have to uncheck this unlock that so select your weight tool. we want to select the weight tool we want to go to the option and change from absolute to smooth so if you change to smooth you can use your control and middle mouse to increase the brush size or you could just come here and increase the brush size but so just click here as you click you are going to be having this smooth in this section up so we just look at sections where it's not smooth just click make sure you have your smooth tool selected then smoothing that part so i know we're going to have issues here i'm very sure we're going to have issues here so what i'm going to do is i will come here and start changing things so i'll come to this let's start with the thumb so select the thumb and rotate this thumb so if we rotate this thumb along this section so we have this i think this is not bad so we'll go to the next in the thumb let's rotate that I don't think this is bad but let's see i think something is here so we'll go to our weight manager the thumb is already selected so we'll go to our we don't really need the weight manager actually so we'll go to our weight tool select the thumb manager make sure make sure smooth is selected so you just click and smoothen off this section and life will be good for you then we'll do the same thing for every other section so just bring this back so you have that so if you go over to your pinky or your yeah your pinky and let's rotate this pinky so if you rotate the pinky and see what you have so this is not really bad you're having this thing is fine actually so you have that this is how you can weight your character so for you to weight and do that you'll be making use of your weight manager and your weight to to like smoothing off all this and so by the time we bring up our subdivision surface everything should be nice and fine so this is how you do your normal basic hand rigging and um, weighting so if you feel this was helpful please give me a Give me a thumb off, thumbs up, and like the tutorial. And I'm happy because this has also been um, educative, even to me. I've learned a lot, even while going through this process. So, in the next tutorial, we're going to look at how to rig a basic leg, then also weight that leg. Then, from there, we'll go to the um, body and all that so do have a wonderful day and god bless you bye